we are seeing more people than ever, um, ever before having to turn uh, to the Trust of Trust and to food banks for help. And interestingly, we're seeing more and more um, like working people um, whose incomes just aren't enough to meet, uh, aren't enough to meet their basic spends. Um, and we're hearing, you know, terrible stories of children whose feet are hurting because their parents just can't afford new shoes for them. And it's very much a situation um, across Wales. How have we reached this situation where sort of food banks are the norm and they're not the emergency food that you have originally intended? Mm. So I think one of the things we have learned I think all of us have learned, especially as we lived through um, the pandemic, uh, was that people's circumstances can change at any time and they can change very quickly. And when we think, because the cost of living has just been rising and rising over the past decade, um, you know, people, their salaries support their lives and there's not often a lot left over for savings and that kind of thing. So like when circumstances do change and change very quickly, it can really lead people into states of um, desperation very, very quickly. It's all led to this situation that we're in where we have moved more food banks in the UK than we do branches of McDonald's. And that's, you know, that's how, how bad the situation is. How will our fundraising for the diocesan offering help you and the situation in Wales, do you think? Well, Firstly, I probably need to say it's not just about raising money. You saw in the video that churches provide buildings, volunteers, vital support for food banks. And we really couldn't run our network. We really couldn't do what we do without the support of local churches. The reality is the cost of living is pushing more and more people through our doors. Um, even with, you know, the Welsh government have provided some um, some short-term solutions they have provide they are providing some fuel vouchers etc but more people coming through our doors and yet donations to food banks have been falling so I think sometimes it can feel really really insignificant and not like it's doing a lot but just having a collection box box at the back of your church and encouraging your congregations to put a few a few um items of food in there um when they do their shopping you know it feels something small but it makes such a big difference um and so I just really encourage if you are able to do that that's something that you can do that's quite simple um we also really encourage you to connect with your local food bank um, because obviously I'm talking a, about the sort of bigger picture here, but your local food bank will it will welcome a conversation with you um, to talk about, you know, what support can you offer? What practical support can you offer? Um, or maybe what financial support can you offer? Um, and um, they might or they might need some extra volunteers or some specific help on a project that they're running. Uh, so we really would encourage you to connect in that way and just on a wider uh like sort of looking at the wider picture um there's so many campaigns that we're run through the year uh through the year that you can get behind uh doing things such as writing to your local mp we have church support pages on our website i encourage you to go and have a look at them and you will find resources that you can use within the church prayer points for you to get behind and actions you can do but the most important of course is to please pray pray for our work pray for our food banks for our volunteers for everyone who comes through the food banks and just um pray for that vision that we have that vision that we will live in a world where everyone can afford the essentials and where we no longer need to exist <laughs>